Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. This is Echo Simpson. Guess what? It is always a privilege for a layman like me, or even in Ghana, for a layman to sit close to a chief. Yes. Uh, in other words, they will say a kin, but I will call him a kin because he's like a kin to all of us here in Asebu, in Ghana, West Africa, everywhere, Africa, and even to you because. I know you've seen him around, you know, on TV, you know, talking about a lot of things, talking about, you know, chief things and everything here in Ghana. <clears throat> yes, whilst I was away in Ethiopia, beautiful Ethiopia, shout out to all Ethiopians watching me right now, and then in Rwanda, um, I had a message that, hey, Echo, have you heard there's a program coming up? I'm like, uh, yeah, I've seen something on, you know, on, on TV and on the website talking about, Wakanda one city and the genesis of all these things. 2019, our president, you know, invited the diaspora to come to the motherland. And in so doing, there, there emerged a lot of activities, events, partnerships, and all that business wide relationship. I know most of you come to Africa, Ghana to come look for our beautiful women and marry. And that is good. Shout out to you if you've done that already. But if you've not, please do it because my kin will bless that marriage for you right yes okay so we came up with you know there were the asebu pan-african land and other activities but today we want to talk about the expo that is coming up tomorrow third up to the 13th of december so i have here with me nana obokesi ampa uh, he is a regent of Mori. Mori is a community under Asebu. And then he's also the Apejahin of uh, Asebu traditional area. So, Nana, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much, Echo. Pleasure to see you again. Yes. You're looking good as well. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm trying to learn from you, you know, living the beard. And <laughs> yes, yeah, so um, we have read about an expo that is coming up. What is the Wakanda One City Trade Expo all about? The Wakanda One City of Return Trade Expo is a platform created by the African Diaspora Development Institute, ADDI. Okay. Uh, the founder being Her Excellency Ambassador Arikana Chamboyekwao. Mm -hmm. uh, this platform seeks to promote wealth creation okay. for African women abroad. So it's a common platform for Africans everywhere they find themselves to trade so that we create world and the world, world uh, remains amongst us. This is what uh, the Chinese have done. This mm -hmm. is what the Jews, they, they do. So I think uh, Africa can do the same to prosper itself. Wakanda One City of Return Trade Expo also is to promote the city that we are going to build. We as an ADDI, the Excellency Ambassador Kanachi Mokwao, and the entire ADDI team, I'm so proud to announce or to inform you that uh, we've secured the land okay. from uh, assembled traditional area uh, from uh, His Majesty Okodachi Professor Manfi the Seventh, 5,000 acre land to build this city. Wow. So. We're going to invest in a housing, in hotels, in agriculture, in technology, seven key areas, okay. which we believe that uh, it will change the narrative of the, of the central region entirely. Okay. Central region, Cape Coast area, Asebu area, is going to be the new go-to place in West Africa. We bring in here heavy investments. The first phase of the project is around $200 million which is already in the bank and we are ready to go and uh, we are also doing some capacity building here at Cape Coast area with key institutions talk about the University of Cape Coast the Cape Coast Teaching Hospital the Cape Coast Nursing School Cape Coast uh, Trenka University as I speak to you right now uh, ADDA has shipped health equipment worth okay. 300,000 US dollars wow. That will go to benefit the Cape Coast City Hospital. In same spirit, books, uh, 40 feet container of books was shipped, it just landed in Ghana. 
we're going to uh, give it out to schools. Mm -hmm. Mostly these are science journals. Mm -hmm. And this is not something that ADDI just decided to do. We engaged, we consulted okay. with the, the various institutions and they told us what they need. So we are responding to this need. Mm -hmm. We cannot come here to talk about Wakanda, to build Wakanda, when the existing system mm -hmm. needs an upgrade. Yeah. So the very first thing we're doing is to upgrade the existing CCC Capos area, mm -hmm. and then we come in to build the city that uh, we all want. We all, all we're doing is trying to contribute to the Africa we all want to build. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Um, one thing that I like about what you said is trying to contribute to the Africa that we all want. I know myself, yourself, other Africans, both home and then outside, would love to see Africans come together, trade, you know, build Africa. Can we say this project will be the beginning of such dream of Africans coming together to trade? I know they've started the a AFC, TF, whatever thing, that is, you know, allowing you know, traders move easily within Africa. Do you think this project will also be one that will bring the diaspora and the Africans in the motherland together to start something? Well, uh, what I'm thinking is that, or what I'm seeing is that, there's a new wind blowing. Yeah. Uh, we've all been here for a minute. It's not very often that we see our brothers and sisters in the diaspora coming to stay like this. Mm -hmm. It's not very often that we have AFCTA happening. Yeah. It's not very often that we believe in ourselves. We talking about return. It hasn't really gotten to this level before. Mm -hmm. So I think we are at a threshold. We are at, you know, a, a point that we need just a tip and everything will change. Yeah. Just about five, ten years ago, it was not like this. Mm -hmm. We are beginning to believe. We are beginning to understand. We are beginning to be more accommodating of each other. Yeah. So I believe that this is the time. This is yeah. Africa's time. Yeah. A lot is going to change. Mm -hmm. A lot is going to change. All we need is one solid example and the rest will come. Yeah. All we need is to be able to build this city. This is by Africa for Africans. Mm -hmm. This city will honor the African diaspora. This city will welcome them as kings and queens. This city will celebrate them. This is something we are doing, or EDDI is doing, to say, hey guys, come back home. Mm -hmm. This is being led by the diaspora. It has never happened before that a group of diasporans come together to want to build a city in Africa. Mm -hmm. So it's a change you can see, it's a change we can feel. I'm feeling it, touching it every second. And I'm believing it. Yeah. So things are about to change. Slowly, surely, we are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are changing our story. We are changing the way we look at each other. We are embracing each other some yeah. more. So, it's a good time to be an African. Wow. A good time to be an African. But, uh, but as a member of this project coming up, can you describe what the expo will look like? Somebody is watching Trade Expo, Trade Expo. What is going to be in place? And who are the targeted audience? Beautiful. As I speak to you, we have 36 diaspora companies signed up for this trade expo. Beginning on Monday, December 6th, at Red Royal Hotel, Cape Coast. Mm -hmm. 36 diaspora companies have signed up wow. to participate. Apart from that, we've had uh, close to 80 Ghanaian-based companies. So, we're coming together. Mm -hmm. To trade okay uh the target is ourselves mm -hmm. it's africans women abroad mm -hmm. every day we will stream this live okay so we are the target if you are listening to me you are the target mm -hmm. tell your sister tell your brother that africa is rising africa is awakening join in don't sit by the fence and then keep on adapting us it did not bring the change mm -hmm. we only we change when we begin to believe, we begin to act on it. So, Ambassador Arikana has started a movement. It's bringing together the diasporas. It's bringing the diaspora to invest here. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, we'll complain. 
the Chinese is coming here, the Chinese is uh, Ghana needs investment. Yeah. It's like any other sovereign nation. So if we sit there and complain and we don't act and people need uh, roads, mm -hmm. people need uh, water, mm -hmm. they, they will welcome the Chinese. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> so if you are listening to me and you are a diaspora and you have $200 or $1,000, think about Africa. How can you invest it in Africa? There's a reason why the Chinese come here. There's a reason why the Europeans are here. Wealth is in Africa. But they've dispersed us. If men has believed that there's nothing here, meanwhile yeah. they are here all the they time. Are here all the time. <laughs> so if you listen to me, don't fall for that lies. Ask Echo, hey Echo, what can I invest in? Or ask Echo, Echo, I want to talk to Nano Bukasi. Yeah. How can I invest in what kind of project? It's happening. Beautiful. So I, like like you're saying, sometimes I, I read comments and they are allowing Chinese people to take over, to take over. Always complaining, but they are there. You have to come home, you know, like, like my kin is saying, the complaints are too much. Why don't you also come and let's start something so that we can see our brothers and sisters are coming home, joining us to do this. Now, um, somebody watching want to be part of this Wakanda project. I mean, coming Monday, what does the person do? Either he's coming to display or sell, or even just coming to watch, what do we do? The first thing you do is you go online. Mm -hmm. Our ADDI.org. Okay. O U R dot A D D I dot O R G. Our ADDI.org. Or just Google ADDI, African Diaspora Development Institute. And then you get all the information okay. that you need. Okay. This is a huge platform that we're trying to build. You better join this as we try to change our story. It doesn't make any sense if you keep blaming each other, mm -hmm. if you keep doubting each other, and if you keep blaming the Chinese. Because they, they, they are business people. Yeah. They want to make profit. Yeah. So I think it's up to us as uh, continental Africans to open up, to welcome our sisters and brothers. It doesn't matter. No amount is too small or too big. Mm -hmm. Whatever you have can start something here. Mm -hmm. There are people who start business here with $20, $30. So nothing is too small, nothing is too big. Africa is here looking for its children to change the way things are right now. Nobody loves us more than ourselves. Mm -hmm. Europe cannot claim to love us more than, you know, where uh, mm -hmm. they love themselves. Yes. So we can change this. We can change this. I always say that. There's no way uh, we can even look up to America or uh, UK as an example. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they, they, they have their own story. Yeah. The US has benefited from free labor mm -hmm. for close to 270 years. And they still owe the Chinese a lot of money. So how do we learn from such people? Such people, and they are still using <laughs> we, the we, Chinese. We, we, can, we, we can learn from them. The UK, you know, has benefited from slavery, from free labor, mm -hmm. from a whole lot of things. But when you go to London right now, there are all four people. That tells me that we cannot really learn anything from them. Mm -hmm. All the solutions we need lies in our Africanness. Yeah. It lies in us coming together. Once we collaborate, we have, first of all, we are winning on the moral front. Number two, we have all the resources. Number three, Africa is a very young population. Mm -hmm. By average, 19.5 years. I mean, 19 and a half years, not up to 20, the youths, average mm -hmm. across Africa. Yeah. So this is a very young, you know, population, energetic. So, you know, all we need is for us to believe yeah. in each other right. and then to try to make it happen and then to try to want to uh, believe that the person who enslaved us is the person who is going to save us. Save us. <laughs> it's not happening. We can change this and we will change this right now. Beautiful. Beautiful. So he said the best is for us to come together and then change the story. We can't believe in the oppressor to change us. It will never happen. Uh, in our culture, you can't sit and take a lot of time 
of the chief or the king. So I think you've heard enough. Uh, he's shared a lot about the Wakanda One City project or return project. And I, uh, I will put the websites and every information that you need under this video so you can contact and then learn more. So we'll be bringing you more. How many days are we doing this project? Uh, in all it's 12 days 12 days okay. 12 we days. have a lot of cultural activities okay uh let me take you through this uh saturday 4th december okay we have a royal dinner okay the gang king that's the king of accra wow is hosting us mm -hmm. at east legon sunday december 5th mm -hmm. we come to asebu okay his majesty okay the chief professor the seven mm -hmm. the overlord of asebu the king yeah. of asebu will host ADDI members who we'll have a, what we call know me, know me by my name. Mm -hmm. Know me by my name. Know me by my name. Naming ceremony. Okay. Who we'll throw away the Western names. <laughs> because the Western names are the names we inherited from the last person who owned our ancestors. Mm -hmm. So the last slave master who owned your ancestor is the one you are carrying his name mm -hmm. or her name. That is a big BS. That is not something that we need to entertain. Mm -hmm. We are going to change that. Yeah. So on the fifth, we'll do this name and say when at a sable. Then the sixth at Red Royal will have the official uh, opening of the expo. Okay. Seventh, we have the youth empowerment program, the launch of the ADDA youth empowerment program okay. in Ghana. The keynote speaker is uh, Professor Pierre Mumba ah. at the Center for National Culture, Kipus. Okay. This is massive. Wow. Seventh trade expo. Eighth, we have the candlelight vigil. Mm -hmm. We go to Asen mm -hmm. to see the, the slave river, drive down to Cape Coast, and then go to the dungeon with the candles honoring our ancestors. Mm -hmm. And then ninth, we have the expo happening. Mm -hmm. Tenth, we have Denver of Chiefs okay. at the Cape Coast uh, King's Palace okay. in Mitzmaze. Okay. We have all the chiefs coming together to receive uh, our brothers and sisters from the diaspora, mm -hmm. and then we will honor, we will honor the diaspora mm -hmm. with some traditional titles. Okay. This is huge. Huge, very huge. Eleventh, in the morning, we'll have atonement. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the time, people ask why spiritually, why Africa is going through a whole lot. Mm -hmm. I, because of where I stand, because of what I practice as a traditional African believer or as, as an Akan, we believe that the right way that we need to bury our people during the slave trade, during the transatlantic slave trade, a lot of people died across the middle passage mm -hmm. and then they were just dumped in the sea. They weren't given any proper barrier and this is still haunting us. Yeah. Akans, people who die through such death, we call it atofu, atofu yeah. accidental death, or it's not a natural death. Mm -hmm. And we have special way that special rituals we perform so that their spirits will know some rest. Yeah. This hasn't been done for years, and this is hunting all of us as global Africans. So on the 11th in the morning, we have this atonement, we call it musupa. musupa. At Mori. Mori, okay. Yes. And, you know, this is going to change a whole lot of things yeah, for us. True. This is going to change, this is going to bring blessings to us. These are things we do every day, but we've neglected our brothers and sisters for so long, we've not really attended to this. This, we believe, can bring an end to how we suffer from the police, mm -hmm. police brutality in the West. You know, look at the prison system, how they jail our people. These things we know when we do the right things, things will begin to change for us. So this we will do for the first time at Mori on the 11th in the morning, 10 a.m. Then in the evening, we have the awards night. Okay. The awards night will also serve as a farewell dinner for the team or the family who is coming at Center for National Quarter. So it's, it's going to be massive, it's, it's packed, it's going to be beautiful. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, I, I hope I, I'll get my VIP ticket. So any any place I can just enter in. Because they, you want to see what is going to happen for the 12 days, right? So I'll need a special 
permission to be entering certain places <laughs> anyway so thank you very much for being on my channel and educating the brothers and sisters out there to know what is happening here uh your last words and then so i want to say a big thank you to you for listening for watching us uh, this is uh africa's time i want to encourage you to believe i want to encourage you to believe that we can do it on our own I want to encourage you to believe that you are a nice person, you are a good person, don't fall for the propaganda. They've made us believe that some people are better than us and it affects our drive. So we are about to share that. We are about to move, move together as one family, as royals, as kings and queens. We have built big time empires in the past. We built Timbuktu, we built Kamit. For God's sake, we can do this. We have been on for thousands of years. We only got distracted for the past 400 years. So that is just a minute fraction of time since creation. So once we believe, we can change this. Let's believe. Uh, let's believe.